Hi there! This tutorial will show you how to get started using Beyond 2020. Beyond 2020 is an interface used to present aggregate data. This reader is freely downloadable and access to Beyond 2020 is restricted by Carleton IP address to current Carleton students, faculty, and staff. You will learn how to identify table components, drill up and down, and change language. So let's open up the Odyssey repository. First, by going through the Data Center's homepage. So we'll click on the link to Odyssey. And along the left hand side, click on the link to open up the repository. Our internet's being a little bit slow today. There we go. Now that we have the Odyssey repository open, for example's sake, we'll click the plus sign to expand agriculture, we'll expand Canada, then the census of agriculture, and we'll go into the year 2001. So we'll click to expand aggregate data. And you can see that you have the options for Beyond 2020 files or Excel files, and obviously we want Beyond 2020 files. So expand metadata and go down to other documentation. So click on it to expand or just click on the title and it'll show up on the right-hand side screen. So let's go into, click here to access data HTML. And this will open up a new tab. So now that our tab is open, we're going to go along down to number two, Farm Operator Data Tables. Click on that. I'm going to go down underneath of Part 2 by Canada and Provinces and open up Table 5, Farm Operators by Sex and Selected Variables. So you may have a pop-up that shows up on your screen depending on what interface you are using. You'll be given the option to either open or save and we're going to click Open. And we now have the Beyond 2020 program open. So let's just click to expand everything so we can see it more easily. A Beyond 2020 table consists of dimensions, items, and cells. Dimensions are the different categories the information will be in on a table and contain one or more items. In this table, we have four dimensions with geography, variables, sex, and operators. Underneath of these, we have the rest of the items and the cells contain the data. To remove information from the table view, you will drag the dimension to the dimension bar, which is here along the top. So we're going to remove sex and variables. So highlight it and just drag it up to the dimension bar. We'll then click variables and drag that up as well. And now we have a smaller table. We can drag the column wider to see the full label. We can do that or click on other columns to expand them further. When a dimension is in the dimension bar, only the data from one item is shown at a time. So here we see the total number of operators, but if you make sure that it's highlighted and go up and click this next button, we'll change the data that is displayed. You can just click through to see we have average age, resided on the farm, and so on and so forth. To click higher hierarchical items to drill down, you can click on Canada, which is bolded, and to drill back, click on the arrow, and that'll drill back. The change language button is here along the menu along the top, in this symbol here, and this is activated in multilingual tables. Use it to toggle between available languages. For this table, we have French and English. All right, so that is all for this tutorial, and this was created by the Carleton University Data Center. Thanks for watching.